She is uh, uh, now probably Miss uh, uh, Sports Center 5,000. I'll go. I'll go 5,048. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Cohn here on the show. Uh, do, do we do we oh, know? Do we, are we up to speed on exactly how many? Sports? By the way, immediate <laughs> laughter. Like didn't even say a word, and she just starts laughing. Do we know? Do we know the exact number now, Linda? Rich, Rich, we do not. We have stopped counting. Okay. Uh, you know, we have to get the analytics folks okay. on this right get away. Them on it. Get them on it, Linda. <laughs> while we're on the subject. Uh, Everybody in the baseball world is wondering, what's wrong with Matt Harvey? Why is Matt Harvey performing this way? It's as if there's some sort of hex with Matt Harvey, and I have put it together. Who did not call in to your 5,000th sports center, Linda Cohn? Who did not? Matt Harvey. Matt Harvey. Am I wrong? Am I wrong here? What else could he have been doing at that time? (laughs) It was not even the season yet. He had no excuse. Mm-hmm. Plus, he's a Rangers fan as well. But I think there must be, you know, he's a dark knight. So isn't there some kind of Marvel comic, uh, Could you know, be. kryptonite situation of some sort Could that be. Has grounded him? Could be that. Could be. He was probably sleeping something off the day of your 5,000th sports. <laughs> <laughs> he could have been. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it, Linda. Uh, San yeah. Jose and Pittsburgh. Break this one down for me. How's the cup going to look like? Cup Let me tell you something. Your viewers, your listeners have to know one thing. This is amazing. This is going to be a seven-game series. Oh, love this it. is going to be so exciting, Rich. Mm-hmm. They are so evenly matched. I've given the uh, – I want you and i got to give a shout-out to myself. Have Go. you ever given a shout-out to yourself? <laughs> <laughs> don't hurt yourself. Just don't pull anything, Linda. Okay? I hope you're hydrated. I, okay. okay. I am. I'm drinking water right now. Okay. Um, I picked correctly the teams and the number of games at the conference finals. Wow. So that's, I had to build this up. You know, now <laughs> my pick for the Stanley Cup final, Penguins in seven. Aha. Uh-huh. They, uh, here's the deal. What both is it? Teams, both teams. <laughs> you're writing this down? I am. Both teams feel like they're on a magical ride for good reason. Um, they had both have young goaltenders who are helping to take their team uh, and making their teammates believe in them. You all, you always need, it doesn't matter, and you don't have to have an elite goalie, as we've seen recently, to be successful. Two, both of these teams, the Sharks have a guy in Martin Jones, who used to be an L.A. King, mm-hmm. who was no, there was no room for him as an L.A. King because of Jonathan Quick. So the Sharks go out and get a Martin Jones, and he has led them to the cup. And then Matt Murray for the Penguins, 21-year-old kid out of nowhere. Three months ago, nobody knew this guy existed. And he took over for a Marc-Andre Fleury who was concussed. And now he's not letting go of the reins. Plus, you have two teams with superstars. Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin for Pittsburgh, San Jose, Joe Thornton, Love him. Joe Pavelski, and uh, Patrick Marlowe. The cool thing, Rich... Thornton and Marlowe drafted in 1997. Thornton, the number one overall pick. It's their first Stanley Cup final. It's exciting. And Thornton is, I just love his attitude when he was asked, who do you want to play? And he goes, let them both play. Let them dress 40. We'll take them on both at the same time. I just love that comment after the Sharks made the Cup. And here's the other thing about Thornton that I think you don't even have to be a hockey fan to really appreciate this story. Thornton had been a longtime captain of the San Jose Sharks. And in hockey, as you know, Rich, wearing the C on that sweater is a big deal, Mm -hmm. bigger than any other sport. Well, last year they took that C away from him, and they gave it to Joe Pavelski. And Thornton has handled that with such class. And that has rubbed off on his teammates. And look at little Joe Pavelski with his 13 goals. Uh, Wayne Gretzky didn't have that many goals ever in a postseason through three rounds as Joe Pavel. So why do you like so the, that's, why do you like the Penguins when it all comes down? I like down them to? because I think they uh, I like their goalie a little bit better, Matt Murray, mm-hmm. than Martin Jones. I think he's been tested more. You know, this is a Penguins team. Obviously they just finished off Tampa Bay, but they were really tested before that, obviously with Alex Ovechkin, the Washington Capitals, the President's Trophy winner. And Matt Murray stepped in and just really faced an onslaught. And I like the goaltending edge. So it's going to be close. Every game is going to be close. And I also like the speed 
of the Pittsburgh Penguins, the HBK line. You've heard of, you know, uh, what Shawn Michaels, the wrestler, has uh, adopted the Penguins Mm -hmm. because they call that line the the Nino, Haglin, and Kessel line, the HBK line. And, Mm -hmm. of course, Shawn Michaels... (laughs) His uh, little nickname was the Heartbreak Kid. Mm. So that's become a little bit of a, you know, big deal in the hockey circles that a uh, classic WWE guy, wrestlers, really kind of adopted these penguins, gone to the games and stuff like that. So anyway, that's why I like the penguins. But it's going to be entertaining, exciting, uh, and amazing. And plus, the Penguins uh, eliminated your Rangers too, Linda. And I'm sure True, they did. You want you want to see the team that beats your team to go the distance too, though, Linda. I, right? You I know, I'm glad you brought that up, Rich. Because there's always been a mm. debate, yes. right, in any sport. Mm-hmm. And for me, I've actually gone against that grain. Normally, the team that beats my team. I root like heck against that team that right? the following round. I don't know. I, I mean, them out. I, I, you know, I, it, there was a you know a girl that I, I once upon a time had a crush on that I used to uh, work with at my hometown newspaper, and then um, she didn't go out with me. She went out with somebody else from the place and married him. And I was actually excited because if I if I wasn't going to win that uh, title, at least the guy who beat me out for it went the distance. You know, Linda, that's the way I felt about it at the time. <laughs> you know, so I, 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 I see your point. I use this in life too. You know what I mean? It's not just sports. It's worked for you, though. It has worked for oh, you in life. Guess. But I don't know. But I, the Peng- I became believers in the Penguins. I did mm-hmm. not root against them. I changed my tune because I just felt they okay. were more deserving. And it's, they're exciting. And, by the way, they have former Ranger Carl Haglin on the team, uh, which isn't a bad thing. Now, did you notice that Pavelski and the Sharks didn't touch the Campbell Bowl, but Sidney no. Crosby went ahead and put his – his fingerprints all over the Prince of Wales trophy. Did you see that? Yeah, but that doesn't bother me. Okay, well, I know it should, mm-hmm. but it didn't. Because uh, Sidney Crosby, back at his first final since 09 when they won it all, mm-hmm. I, uh, I think I trusted the kid. Mm-hmm. Okay. I do. I do. I know we can revisit when, the, when, you, when probably the Sharks will sweep the Penguins because <laughs> he touched the Prince of Wales he or whatever the, the hell trophy. The, yeah. the trophy is. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I listen. I remember the Rangers. Right. Brian McDonough did not touch that stupid trophy, and it's, they still didn't beat the Kings <laughs> in the final. So there you go. Can we update the trophies, by the way? Here, Prince of Wales. You know what I mean? Like, can we? <laughs> Clarence, no way, that's Campbell, so cool. I don't, I don't know. Let's let's make it. Let's figure something out here. You know, the Matthew Matthew Perry, because he's a big fan, right? The Matthew Perry trophy. Yeah, that let's, could be. Let's good. update. Let's get into the 21st century a little bit here. Yeah, Will Arnett. He's a big hockey yeah. fan. The Will Arnett trophy. The Will Arnett tro- Will. Let's do it. The Al Michaels trophy. Yeah, well, listen. The, the <laughs> Al Michaels trophy. I'll be see the Al and Melinda trophy. I like it. Why not? I'm, I'm on the phone with Oswego State Athletics Hall of Famer Linda Cohn here on the Rich Eisen there Show. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so if you had to name a horse after a hockey player like Nyquist's owner, who would it be, Linda? Mm. Well... It wouldn't be a Red Wing. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's your horse. It's your horse, though, Linda. Let's. It's I know, your it's horse. It's a great one. What? Well, you know, obviously, it has to be a New York Ranger, right? So, I don't know. You know, Lundquist. As long as you're going with the is at the end of wow. these horses' names, we can go with Lundquist. Linda, we thought the Chris Command Center, and I thought for sure it would be Messier. You'd have to name the horse. Oh Messier. yeah. You know, he called in on my five thousand. <laughs> <show. All right. laughs> I really should give him love. Where was King Henrik? Where was he with the Prince of Wales? <laughs> King Henrik was with the Prince of Wales trophy. And so, yes, I'm going to change it to Messier. Well, the fabulous choice. There you go. You could, Thanks you, for that guidance. Or you could you go. Know, you know me more than I know me. You could go Dugay. Call the horse Dugay, right? Dugs, Dugay. Dugay, yeah. Beck. That's true. Beck, you could go old school. Richter. Yeah. R- Richter. Richter, That's- class act. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I think Messier, you know, has a nice ring to it. He called in. I even said that before. I'm like, of course it's going to be Messier because he called in at five thousand Sports Center. Fantastic. Listen, he, I'm telling you, he did. He he gave it. You know what? David Tyree also did, by the way. Okay. So Eli yeah. didn't. I was disappointed. Oh, look Nobody out for the Giants. Nobody is a bigger apologist than for Eli than me. That was not President an president el- of his fan club. That was not an elite move on his part, Linda. That's Careful. right. Remember that? He proved all you wrong. Look what's happened okay. to Matt Harvey since he did not call into your show. Look what has happened to him. He can't the get out of it. 
of Linda Cohn's 5,000. All right, That's Linda. It's called. Thank you for is calling in. Is it over? That's. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be, but we'll get you back on during the cup, okay? <laughs> that sounds awesome. You're awesome, Rich, you as too. always. Enjoy your holiday weekend. All right, you got it, Elsie. That's Linda Cohn. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience. 